Hello, and thanks for joining me today. I'd like to wish all of you mothers a happy Mother's Day. I have two cards for you, a pink one and a purple one. I use supplies from the Spellbinders April 2021 Card Kit of the Month called Sincerely Yours. And you can see the supplies that come in the kit here, uh, with exception to that silver die to the top, the postage stamp die, that's a Hero Arts die. All right, so this stamp set comes in the kit and I'm gonna be using it. And I'm also gonna be using these this envelope die that came in the kit. And also these ephemera or die cut shapes that also come in the kit. I'm gonna be using a couple of these on the front of my card, which you'll see in just a second. So I chose the rainbow and some of those florals and this card stock I just trimmed down for an A2 sized card. Alrighty, so the first thing I want to do is trim down this uh, six by six uh, card base, but you can see the envelope and this uh, gold postage stamp that I cut from those dies. All right, so I'm gonna trim this down so that there's a quarter inch border on my card. So that would be four inches and this would be five and a quarter. So then you're left with that quarter inch uh, border. And then I'm just gonna adhere that panel to the front of my card base. So we'll be ready to go and ready to decorate the rest of the card. This is such a cute little card with all those little uh, squares that are reminiscent of postage stamps. And so that's why I chose to cut out that gold cardstock in that postage stamp uh, edge. So I'm gonna place that in the middle of my card and then put my rainbow right on top of it. Now, if you wanted to, you could pop it up with some dimensional adhesive, that's up to you, but I decided to leave it flat because I'm gonna add some dimension uh, later on, which you'll see in just a moment. So I'm stamping this with black onyx ink. It's the Versafine uh, ink, and it's a uh, very, uh, I think uh, it's a very high quality ink. I like it a lot, but you do wanna make sure you let it dry before you handle it so you don't smudge it. So I'm just putting that on the front of my card right there in the center of that gold cardstock, and then I'm gonna add this sunshine right behind it to the, to the left, just peeking out behind the rainbow. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do is cut up some of these postage squares here. Uh, they're supposed to look like postage stamps, I think, but I am leaving the white border on them because what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere them to the front of my card uh, right where they go on the card. I matched them up to to uh, what was on the card. You know what? You really don't even have to because if you're covering it up, it doesn't really matter, but I went ahead and matched it up to what was on the card. And then um, I decided to pop them up with those adhesive dots that you see there to the right. It says sticky thumb and those will add some dimension. So that's why I decided to leave my rainbow flat because these are gonna have some dimension behind them. And I also decided to add some glossy accents to them to give them a little bit of shine. Um, you don't have to do that. You, if you do, you wanna give yourself some extra time to let it dry. So you can see here, I'm just trying to place them on the card. I'm spacing them out so that they're not all on one side of the card or they're not all clumped together. And I decided to use five of them because that's an odd number and our eyes are attracted to sets of odd things instead of even. And then for the inside of the card, I'm going to use this envelope that I created with the die that came in the kit, but I'm gonna trim off those flaps because I don't want it to be dimensional. If you fold them up, then you'll get a 3D envelope that you can use. And I made a card using the 3D envelope on the front of the card, and I'll link to that here. But I wanted this for the inside of the card, so I just trimmed those flaps off. So I'm gonna go ahead and once I'm done putting this on the inside of the card, I'm gonna decorate it with a cute little um, faux stamp that says sending hugs and that came in the kit also. You can see that there and I'm just gonna place it on the diagonal. And then these floral elements I'm gonna put on there as well. And I chose to go with the pinks and the yellows instead of that uh, dark purple one. Uh, or that light that light lavender one. I think it's either I don't know you can call it pink or lavender It's kind of hard to tell on camera <laughs> And then this uh, little leaf piece here. I only had one so I decided to trim it so you could use both of them and uh, Make that look a little more Even so that there's leaves coming out of both sides, but you don't have to you could just leave it as one piece It's entirely up to you and what you prefer for your card making so just having a, a fun Mother's Day, putting this card together and making this video. I hope you're having a wonderful Mother's Day too. 
and then I used my adhesive eraser to get rid of any of that adhesive that was seeping out around the edges of those elements. Now this is some glossy paper. It's actually from double-sided adhesive sheet of paper and it has a surface that's um, you know, it will not, it's like a non-stick surface, so glue won't stick to it. And since I'm using this glossy accents, I wanted to use this paper so my little rectangles didn't stick to it. Uh, and then once I'm all done with that, you do want to let this dry. Um, I would recommend letting it dry for a couple, at least a couple of hours. Um, I was impatient, and when I went back to it, I smudged some of them, unfortunately. So definitely be patient and let it dry completely before you handle them. And then I'm going to use these uh, glue dots to uh, attach them to the front of my card. And again, it will create some uh, a little bit of dimension for the card. And I think this is really cute. Now it is up to you if you don't want to use that glossy accents. Maybe you could use um, a Wink of Stella glitter brush. I know I use that a lot on my cards. So that's another option for you if you don't want to do that. Okay, so now that we're done with the cards, I'm going to go ahead and decorate my envelope. And I'm going to use that stamp set with the cute little rainbow stamps. And I'm going to put that on my envelope here. And I'm using Distress Oxide ink. And I'm stamping off just one time so that my ink will be a little bit softer to hopefully match the pastel color scheme of the card. Now you can use these also as cute little smiles if you want to put a smile on a character, you know, for another card. So that's another idea you can use these for. And I'm just using the worn lipstick, the fossilized amber, the cracked pistachio, and then the last one I'm going to do here is the faded jean. And that's the uh, colors that I chose for this envelope. Now you can also, uh, if you'd like to, decorate the back of the envelope. That's up to you. You can put another rainbow or there is a heart stamp that comes in the kit. Or if you have any stickers on hand that you'd like to put on the back, that's entirely up to you. So there's a look at the cards for you today. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.